me go over what an FHA loan is and the benefits um, and, and also drawbacks in regards to an FHA loan. So basically, um, a lot of times when people are buying their first home, they have minimum down payment. And in that situation, FHA is usually the way to go. FHA requires a 3.5% down payment on credit scores of 580 or higher. If you have a credit score under 580, you still can get an FHA loan. However, you need to put 10% down. So basically, you might want you might call a lender or have called a lender or used your realtor's lender and they said, "Well, your credit scores are too low. They're under 620 or 640." It doesn't mean you can't get a loan, it just means you can't get a loan through that institution. So those are areas where give me a call. I'd be more than happy to help. Um one misconception of an FHA loan is it has to be or it can only be used by first-time home buyers. That is not true. As long as you're buying a home that is going to be your primary home, you can get an FHA loan. Bankruptcies and foreclosures and short sales, there is a, um, a reduced time period between when that occurred and when you can qualify for an FHA loan, and it is a shorter duration than on a conventional loan and your debt ratio. What a debt ratio is, is your monthly expenses divided by your monthly income. In many cases, I've gotten people approved with a debt ratio up to 50%. So again, if you were denied by another lender because they said your debt ratio was over 43, I might be able to help. So those are the, the biggest advantages of an FHA loan. Also the rates. The rates are equal to, in most cases, or lower than conventional loans. The disadvantage of an FHA loan is basically the, uh, some of the costs. So FHA charges you 1.75% is an upfront fee. Okay, and so in this case, it's a $300,000 purchase. FHA is, um, I'm sorry, $300,000 loan. FHA is charging 1.75%. That does not go to me. That goes to HUD. So it doesn't matter if you use me or any other uh, institution for this loan. That fee will be charged and it is non-negotiable. So what happens in this, you don't have to bring in that much more money. They actually add this to the loan. So your loan would be actually $305,250. Also, you have a monthly mortgage insurance. A lot of people reference it as PMI. Anytime you do not put down 20%, you have PMI. Um, a lot of conventional loans will have PMI ranging from maybe 5 to 10, 11, 12 years. FHA has a uh, PMI factor that is on there between 11 and 30 years, depending on how much money you put down. Um, even if you put down 20%, 30%, if you go with an FHA loan, you will have mortgage insurance for minimally 11 years. So hopefully this explains a lot about what an FHA loan is and how to qualify. And if we could be of help, please click the Apply Now button or give us a call at 630-338-1160. Thank you.